the Melchizedek blessing is included in the blessing of Abraham. The Melchizedek blessing is included in the blessing of Abraham. This is powerful. Watch this here. And this never been preached like this before. Abraham had Melchizedek impart to him the spirit of blessing. Abraham had Melchizedek impart to him the spirit of prosperity. Could, could somebody write that for me? So, 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 so we, we can get traditional demons mad. The spirit of prosperity. See, let me just tell you something. Melchizedek had supernatural soul for Abraham to release a dispensation of supernatural money and wealth to everybody that would receive Jesus as their Lord, Savior, and Provider. Have you received The Lord Jesus as your provisional system. Has you, have you received that? Let me say this to you. Abraham's an, a, anointing went to the next level because he met a supernatural apostle, a supernatural high priest, and a supernatural God whose name was Melchizedek. Melchizedek was a financial God. There's no true blessing without riches attached to it. Because the word of God declares that the blessing of the Lord make it rich. So there's no true blessing without money attached to it. Money does not mean that you're blessed, but you cannot be blessed and not ever receive money. It's impossible because they are attached. You ever sent a picture via email and it said this is the attachment? That means that the email is not coming to you empty-handed. There is something attached to it. So you didn't get that email just because it was an email. You got the email and the reason why you got the email because the attachment was sent alongside of it. So it, the reason you can't get the blessing without the attachment because the attachment is the email, the, the, the reason why the email was even sent. So, so you can't say I'm blessed and refuse the money power of God. So saints, let, let, let me say this. Melchizedek blessed Abraham. Abraham bless you. But what happened to Abraham when he got blessed by Melchizedek? Now, let me show you something. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 2 says, To whom also Abraham gave a, a tenth of everything that he had. So how was Melchizedek able to bless him 
and that blessing sit on him to the degree that is even moving right now, ages and centuries later. How? How is the same impartation that God gave to Melchizedek, Melchizedek gives to Abraham, how is it still moving on you today? Because Abraham started sowing. Look, look, look. Abraham started sowing. In the midst of him sowing, what he was in receptivity of was never aborted. See, there's a lot of children of God that got a lot of promises, but they never stepped into sowing, so they themselves have aborted their own children. Yeah, that was something you were supposed to give birth to, but you suffocated the, the child because the child did not have the proper nutrition. And the nutrition of divine vision is sowing. The, 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 the nutrition, the nutrition, the, the, the nutrients, the vitamins is seed activated. Now, saints, that's why a man's sperm seed is nutrients to create life. In a woman. Imagine. How God created all seed. To birth life in the earth realm. Remember the word of God is a seed. John 663. Says that words I speak to you. They are spirit and they are life. Which shows you that all seeds release Spirit and they release life. Now, here's what I want you to see. All seeds release spirit and all seeds release life. So your money seed, every time you sow, you release in spirit, you, re you release in life. Now, now watch this. What kind of spirit are you releasing? Whatever spirit you name. That's why sowing is so powerful because whatever I name the seed is the spirit that I'm releasing to manifest in the, in, the, in the earth realm, in my environment, in my season, in my future, in my, in my presence. If I name my seed um, joy, I'm releasing the spirit of joy. If I name my seed healing, health, I'm releasing the spirit of hell. If I name my seed um, purity, I'm receiving the spirit of purity. If I name my seed wisdom, I'm receiving the spirit of wisdom. Saints, you got to understand this. When Solomon sold, he prayed for wisdom. That was what he named his seed. But see, he didn't know that once he got wisdom, wisdom is a governor over riches, wealth, and every type of pleasure possible. So when he named it wisdom, and that's what he named the spirit that he wanted to release in his environment, that was the life that he wanted to release in his environment, it also attracted every other kind of life that would bring him prosperity and pleasure and joy and happiness. So while he's naming the seed wisdom, wisdom is the governor over pleasure, is the governor over prosperity, is the governor over wealth and riches. So God said, because you named the seed wisdom and you wanted the spirit of wisdom manifested, you wanted the life of wisdom manifested, this is what happens when the life of wisdom the manifest. You get money coming. You get supernatural increase. You get a 
authority, dominion, you get fame, you get pleasure, you get all the things that pertain to life and godliness. All the things that pertain to life and godliness. All the things that pertain to life and godliness. God began to manifest all of the life, all of the lifestyles, all of the spirit of wisdom in his environment. And these were the things that were attached to it. Somebody shout hallelujah. See, see, that's, that's, that's what was going on. So, so. The queen of Sheba was a part of the spirit of wisdom and the lifestyle of wisdom. So while he's moving in the spirit of wisdom and in the life of wisdom, the queen of Sheba is engrafted in this. So all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost, the spirit of wisdom, go and arrest her and put in her mind, I need to go see him because if I go see him, he is going to be the releaser of what I've been searching for. Answers, understanding, grace, having an open heaven to know the mysteries of God. So while she is in Sheba, the spirit of wisdom, the life of wisdom is manifesting. The book of Proverbs was written out of the spirit of wisdom and the lifestyle of wisdom that Solomon sold and named his seed. This is what I want to release. The spirit and the lifestyle. So now we have Proverbs. He named his seed wisdom. In the lifestyle, in the spirit of wisdom was, the lifestyle wisdom was Ecclesiastes. And then saints, I'm going to show you something that's real powerful that you never thought about before. The sexual side of wisdom. There's a reason why Solomon wrote the songs of Solomon. Now, now, now you got to get here. You don't just step into this. You got to graduate to this. You can't get here because of just you, 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 you want this. The Lord got to, he got to anoint you and graduate you into this. Solomon did not write the songs of Solomon just because he, he felt horny. Well, that was probably one of the reasons. Because that, that probably was one of the reasons, but he wrote Solomon, Songs of Solomon, off. Now, now you got to catch this. This was a song. And this was his songs. So why is Solomon singing about titties? Why is, why is Solomon... Solomon made a titty song. Why, why, why is Solomon? But, but see, this is in the lifestyle and the spirit of wisdom. God giving him revelation about titties. So now the songs of Solomon is being written and all these revelations are being given to Solomon. And he's singing about what God is putting in his mind. And saints, the father saw fit to pit the songs of Solomon in the word of God. Why? Why would you do that, father? Because you're almighty and wise. His wisdom is past finding out. There's a realm with the Father that you'll never know until you sow your way out. 
there's a water that you have not walked on until you sow your way out. There is a life of prosperity and pleasure that you have not tasted of until you become uh, I done lost my mind sower. Until you become a I done lost my, my dignity sower. I done lost my tradition sower. I done lost my religiosity sower. There is a lifestyle of pleasure and prosperity. Job 36, 11, you all know it that follow me. If you obey and serve him, you'll spend your days in prosperity. You'll spend your years in pleasures. Why would you pick that in the Bible, Lord? Why? I thought prosperity was bad. I thought we all supposed to suffer. I thought that pleasure is never God. Why would you pick that in the word of God then? Why, why would you tell me if I obey and serve you, I shall spend my days in prosperity and my years in pleasure? So saints, get that part right. Work on your obedience. Work on your servanthood. That's one thing that you want to grasp. Learn how to serve, learn how to sow, learn how to submit. Because while you're submitting, there's a harvest. While you're serving, there's a harvest. And while you're, you're sowing, there's a harvest. And saints, the hundredfold lifestyle is carrying prosperity, blessing, riches, pleasure, and all that you ever dreamed about. See, saints, the Lord got a dream team group of angels that are assigned to your life to take you into everything that you ever imagined and make it a reality. Now, saints, I want you to see this. What did the queen of Sheba name her seed? How many of you all know? Huh? This powerful. See, I just talked to you about Solomon naming his seed, but what did the queen of Sheba name her seed? Huh? 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 What did the Queen of Sheba, what do you say? What did she name her seed? Huh? And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, all these are powerful answers that you are given. Powerful. She heard the famous silence concerning the name of the Lord. She came to prove him with hard questions. She came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a great train, with camels that bear spices, with very much gold, very much gold, precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions that there was not anything that was hid from, from the king, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom, and the house he had built, and the meat of his table. See, your divine king got supernatural meat that they able to eat, and then they'll train you to eat the same meat. Your divine king got supernatural meat on their table. So they'll, they'll train you to eat the same meat. Look at this. She had very much gold. And when the queen of Sheba had seen Solomon's wisdom. Now saints, I want you to see this. The word of God did not say that she heard Solomon's wisdom. It said that she seen Solomon's wisdom. So watch this. She had a seer's anointing on her. I, I, I thought that you hear wisdom. But watch, because she came 
with the heart to soul because she got in her mind that she going to honor Solomon. She got so in on her mind, it stepped her into the seer's anointing to realize, hey, Solomon, not just no daggone womanizer. Solomon, not just no, no, uh, uh, appreciate it, take your money. Solomon, not just no famous, high-minded, proud, arrogant man that ain't got no love for no daggone body. Solomon is This woman realized that Solomon is her Jesus connection. That's all I want to say. I want to say it just like that. She realized that Solomon is her Jesus connection. There's more to this than just this. This is my Jesus eternal connection. This is my Jesus connection. This is what I've been looking for. This is what I've, I've been searching for. Look, she had all these hard questions. Her questions was hard. That wasn't the only thing that was hard. Um, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's Saturday Night Live. We done switched to Sunday. Um, how y'all doing? How mama doing? Huh? How mama doing? Pizza hot sauce on burritos? Yeah. Now, I don't... Don't put too much salt. Nah, take the salt off. Take, take the salt. I don't want that salt on there. By the way, she named her seed wisdom and understanding. She named her seed the same thing that Solomon named his seed. And saints, I'm about to say something prophetically to you all. For now on, everybody that saw into my ministry for the next segment of this year, name all of your seeds wisdom and understanding. And I promise you, that what you already done named your seed, that is going to manifest for you before you even know it. No, 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 no. We're going to hop off of this in 2020. But I, 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 I'm shocked because the Lord just told me this. He didn't, he didn't uh, prepare me to say this at all. But for now on, every seed that you sow, pray for wisdom and understanding so you don't be stupid. So some of you all will say in your heart, because I hear your questions. Well, is, does that mean that the seeds that I've been sowing, is it wrong? The Lord told me to tell you that none of the seeds that you sowed was wrong. And none of the names that you named it was wrong. The Lord said, now you're moving into the manifestation stage of your petitions. Thank you, Father. Ah, I stand in the presence of God. You hear what the Father said? He said, now you in the manifestation stage of your petition. So now I'm dealing with the fact that now that I'm about to do it, this is what I need you to have if by any means the devil will enter. So you was praying for that son, right? You was praying for that situation, that individual for them to be delivered, set free, for them to come to the knowledge of Jesus. All those stuff is going to happen. And let me say this to you, and this is going to be real raw. If you was praying for somebody else, right? And say they don't want Jesus. I'm going to say this to you, going to shake you up, but, but over time you'll understand this. God is going to use someone else to take your mind off of the grief of them not warning your God. God going to deal with them, but God going to do something in your life that's going to link you with something that occupies your brains well, you're not going to be burning down with the sorrow of thinking about that. Because in some cases, uh, we might pray for family. We might pray for uh, people that we meet. And then as a result, 
We, we want things a certain way, but God say, ah, nah. Wisdom will let you agree. Wisdom will let you hear the wrongness of God. Understanding will let you agree. Listen, listen. You see what the Lord told us? He said, pray for wisdom and understanding. Now, name your seed that. Because watch this. Some of you all are going to start seeing even what you named your seed was irrelevant. Why? Because now you're moving in a higher wisdom. And manifestation also means that the manifestation of truth and the rawness and God showing you how to zoom in to accurately live it for him. Out of accuracy. Huh? Saints, watch this here. Say somebody is 165 and you sow a seed and you say, I name my seed that my 165 great granddaddy will live 60 more years. I'm naming this seed and I believe I receive it. Name my seed. 60 more years on them. 60 more years. He already 160. We got 60 more years on him. He going to learn today. I don't care if he's shaking. I don't care. He got Parkinson's disease. He going he gonna to stay right here with the Parkinson's disease for 60 more years. We going to see. We going to see. We going to see what he working, working, working like this. I don't care if he doing like that. He going to he gonna sop it up. He going to sop it up. He going to sop it up and learn. 60 more years on and then watch, when you name your seed wisdom, God will show you, okay, 60 more years, but this is, this, this, this person that's supposed to live for 60 more years, I already let them live 160 years, they weren't serving me, they weren't listening to me, it's time for them to go. <laughs> and then not only understanding wisdom, but you're going to have understanding, you're going to say, all right, no wonder the Lord Ready for him to go now. He wasn't like he going to listen to the Lord now. He going to serve the Lord. The Lord now has the heart, desire. So so I understand why the Lord will even say, come on, why, why we need 60 more years for? 60 more years of not listening to me and just living and just listen, and just, just in their own, own world, their own focus, their own priorities. See, the understanding will help you agree. Saints, I, I want to say this to you. Last but not least, wisdom and understanding is a financial anointing. It is wealth without limits anointing. It is debt cancellation anointing. It is no sickness in your body anointing. It is perfect health, perfect wealth, supernatural joy and peace and pleasure and prosperity forevermore. What I'm telling you is what I did. I was sowing, Lord, give me wisdom and understand. I still do it today. I'm sowing wisdom and understanding. That's the only thing I ask God for. That will even help you with soul winning. Sometimes you try to win people's soul and the wisdom of God will say, don't give what a hole into dogs. Come on, let's keep it moving. Let the dead bury the dead. Come on, let's keep it moving. Why? Because that's the wisdom of God. And, and watch this. If you don't got that wisdom, you're going to keep on pouring out your oil leaving yourself unhappy, you starting to get sad, you're dating, you're not able to enjoy it because you're thinking about somebody that's stupid. And that's one of the secrets to losing the joy of God is thinking about somebody stupid. But wisdom will come in and speak to you and give you, give you an answer and then understanding will help you agree and see eye to eye with God. Understanding is such a powerful anointing because it's perfect unity and agreement with your Lord Jesus Christ. Understanding is so powerful that it is perfect alignment with what God is saying and God is doing. And when you step into wisdom and understanding, the money keep on flowing, the finances keep on growing, and there's a Melchizedek blessing that is doubling on you. The blessing of Abraham and that blessing of uh, Melchizedek is mingled together because Melchizedek came and blessed them. I decree right now that Melchizedek blessing is on you right now.